We're here at the beginning of the second week in Durban and as always the first week you've got a lot of technical negotiations and now the second week it will become more political and also the political leaders will arrive in Durban. We as members of European Parliament have also arrived this weekend and we had our first briefing this afternoon from the European Commission on where we stand with the negotiations. I think most interesting to see is that China is, making a very, is playing a very interesting role. China this weekend announced that they are maybe ready to take on board new targets after 2020. So this is a very interesting development and now of course the big question is going to be how is Europe going to react to that. Until now it seems that Europe is a bit downplaying the move of China but I think it is very important that what China is now doing it should be welcomed by the Europeans because then also India should make a step and in the end the best thing you can achieve is isolation of the United States at this Friday's plenary meeting. So that's now going to happen this week. Well, we're going to see what will be happening, but we see some movement by the Chinese. We hope that the Europeans will reply to that and open up their uh, position and welcome the Chinese and take a step to the second commitment period of Kyoto. And in the end, that will isolate the Americans. That is now going to be the big issues for this second week in Durban. And let's hope that we can conclude in fr on Friday that we have at least an agreement that has some ambition in it, because otherwise Durban will be another failure after a weak Cancun and certainly a failure in Copenhagen. And that's absolutely not needed by the climate.